My name is Stephanie Dexter, and I'm from New York City. Back in November 2014, I was one of the three winners of the Nudge Leadership Challenge. And in 2015, I went to Rwanda as an agent of light for Waka Waka. During our trip, we got a chance to experience rural life in Mahanga, a city a few miles outside of Kigali. Off-grid, hard work, and early darkness. Which made me wonder, what are the effects of darkness on something like education? So back to the main capital, Kigali, where I talked to graduate student Jean-Baptiste, who was raised in a rural area. So if, if, you, if you have a poor family, and you cannot, uh, if you don't have a test, especially uh, uh, the students leave the classes uh, uh, even in time. So and during the night, they cannot revise, because if you, their parents are poor, they cannot revise, because there's no test. Total darkness? I think it's safe to say I've had some experience with that as well. Do you just like, do you press a button or how does it work? How do you light it? You... Kerosene lamps, candles, or working by light of a cooking fire are pretty much all of the options. Hard for cooking and work, and I really can't even imagine studying. I went to high school after passing the national exam. And from the, pri from the primary school, from my class, I'm the only one who managed to, to pass that exam. So Jean-Baptiste did really well. But not everyone gets this opportunity. Is this a recipe for many lost generations? So uh, it means that after, after, after the class, yeah. when I was in school, after the class, I go home. And uh, because there was no electricity, I was living in the rural area at that time. Uh, just the, our homework, so the exercises, we are given only in the, in the class, so at home we are not taking any homework. A smart way of dealing with the challenges of early darkness and no electricity in the rural area. But I'm convinced there must be more solutions to create an even better condition to study for the coming generations of beautiful Rwanda.